haymakers, uh, and that's that's. I mean, you know, and Joe would be the first. Joe's incredible, but he's got greatness around him too. Trevor Lawrence is incredible, but he's got greatness around him, built from the inside. Great offensive lines, great skill, and uh, so you know those guys make plays. I mean, they, he trusts them. And a lot of a lot of back shoulder throws, a lot of high point balls. Uh, he's not afraid on scrambles to put it up, um, but but they're you know schematically they do a good job of creating mismatches and and uh, and then it's yards after the catch. These guys can run with it. They can break tackles. They can make people miss. Uh, but they're all on the same page. They just have a really good chemistry, and uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a challenge. Um, well, I think it'd be special. I think it'd be a list of one to back-to-back to -back national championships in the playoff era. I don't think anybody's done that. So, I don't know. I know we hadn't had the playoff era long, but uh, it'd be a list of one. So it'd be pretty special. Them big dudes up front uh, that that disrupted everything. Those guys did a great job, man. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we're built a little differently right now uh, than than Auburn, but we're similar in some ways too. And they did do a great job. But but uh, I think it was his name Brown, uh, Derek Brown. Those guy, those guys, uh, they 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 really were disruptive up front. Did a great job, and and then they picked their spots. You know, you can't just you can't just sit there and play zone or just sit there and play man. You know, I thought they were smart and creative and mixing things up and just trying to throw them different pitches. I mean, listen, you're playing one of the, from a baseball analogy, you're playing one of the best hitters ever. And if you're just throwing a fastball, I don't care if you're throwing it 110, he's going to hit it. Uh, and he's going to hit it a long way. So, you know, you better be a little more Greg Maddox, you know, work the plate a little bit. You better have some different pitches. Uh, keep them off base just enough. Probably still going to hit it, but maybe it's not a grand slam. Yeah, there you go. They held them down, 500. <laughs> yes, oh, no question. Yeah, it's definite, definitely a road game. Oh, uh, he's been amazing for our program. I mean, he's our, I mean, he's got about every record in the book. And those, those who follow Clemson know, I mean, he's done it on very limited touches. I mean, I mean, he has, there's been lots of games where he's had eight, nine, ten touches because of the nature of the game, and yet he's got 100-something yards. I mean, he's, he's, got, he's the, got about all the records in the ACC, touchdowns and all that. Um, so he's just he's a, he's a special young person, beautiful family from right here in Jennings, and uh, just a, just a blue-collar, hard worker, humble superstar and doesn't even know it you know he just goes about his business he loves to play he loves to practice he doesn't have a, a smidge of prima donna in him he's a grinder and he sets a great example and sets the tone for everybody else and uh, you know because he's a he doesn't carry himself as 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 a superstar type guy i mean he he just goes about his business and and he's a great teammate excellent student and uh just been a joy to watch transform over the last three seasons. Yes, he's uh, he's excited. He's definitely excited. I mean, this is this is really cool for him uh, to have this opportunity to, to come back and play here. And I mean, to play LSU for the national championship. I mean, you. You just you can't even dream it up, you know. Uh, for for a guy like Travis, it's pretty cool. Say that one more time. <clears throat> Who's that great pitcher with the long hair? Uh, uh, one of them guys. Uh, one of them guys. It's got a lot of pitches that can beat you a lot of ways. Just staying true to our purpose, the culture of our program. Uh, we start over every year. We don't we don't carry anything over. We we go back to work and uh, just just have a daily focus. It's really that's it.
Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's kind of, a, again, a daily thing. Uh, I think every single day you reset. Every single day you, you, you walk in and it's a windshield mentality. You learn from yesterday, you learn from the past, but it's about today. And, and just a daily focus on how we, how we you start stacking those todays up, the next thing you know, you put some good weeks together and a couple good months, and next thing you know, hey, you're like, whoa, man, we're so busy trying to be great, you don't get distracted by things that don't keep you, that keep you from being great. Excuse me. Yes. That, uh, you're yeah. busy, man. Hey, Coach, you're very busy, man. hard man to get a contact yes, with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coach, we have a lot of coaches on staff. Yes, you hired all of them. You hired all of them. Out of all of those guys, who do you think was the ugliest growing up as a kid? Ooh. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Uh, hmm. They got families, too. Yeah. Well, I think we're all made in God's image, so we're all beautiful inside and out. So you don't got one in mind at all? Not, you got one. Not, not really. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, but, but then I think they do have families and, and moms and dads and kids and okay. Okay. who was the meanest coach growing like who was the meanest coach on your staff right now uh, oh it's, oh, gotta, it's got it's got to be pierman oh, when, when do you think it'd be pierman i was thinking he's robbie kinda, oh well no robbie caldwell's a sweetheart you know he's an old teddy bear <laughs> he's putting on it's got to be pyramid okay thank you man. Right, thanks, thanks, cool. yeah. Yeah. isn't he crusty <laughs> that was some that was some high quality interviewing right there Well, I think it gives us a lot of confidence. I mean, we, we, we didn't go into the game wanting to spot them 16. Um, but to be able to go on a 29-7 to run uh, in the biggest of stages against an elite football team, that, 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 was, a, that was a great team. Um, I mean, really, really good. By, easily, by far the best Ohio State team we've played. And uh, to get down 16 nothing and to see, you know, a team that hasn't been down, you know, uh, we had a tight game in North Carolina where we had to, you know, make a play to go up in the fourth quarter, which was the first time I had seen Trevor Lawrence even have to play with the game on the line in the fourth quarter. Uh, and at the time, I said, "Man, it, you know, it's kind of cool. You know, I, I want, it's kind of neat to see Trevor in that situation have to go make a play. We weren't playing great, and then we, and then our defense had to kind of win the game at the end. But so fast forward, you're in a playoff game and uh, you're down 16 nothing, and and you know. The walls can cave in on you. It's a road game, uh, but to see the grit and the heart and the fight and the belief, the will to win, uh, the no-quit attitude and spirit of our team, uh, it was special. And I think certainly gives them uh, uh, great confidence going into a game like this because in a game, you're not in games like this. There's gonna be adversity. And there just is, and there's and there's gonna be some success. And I think you got to be able to handle both of those. Uh, because it's a four-quarter game, you know they don't call the game after the first quarter. You got to play. You got to play all the way through. And our guys uh, have that mindset. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think we have a great program. Uh, Clemson's a wonderful place to live. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I hope I'm a decent guy to work for. Uh, it's a family atmosphere. It's a place where. Uh, truly, our families are a part of it and welcome and kids around all the time, wives around all the time. And it's a small town, you know. I mean, everything's five minutes. I mean, everything. I mean, you can run home and work out at lunch if you want. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a great – when this is your profession, you know, as a coach, you, you – especially coaches that have been other places, you understand um, how special it is uh, it, to live there. You know, Monday through Friday, we kind of have a Clemson bubble, you know, kind of our own little world. But yet we get to have this unbelievable stage to compete at the highest level and do something that we all love to do. Um, our fans are amazing. You know, the, every game is sold out and packed. It doesn't matter who we play. You'd never know. Uh, and that's not the norm across college football. I mean, our, it's, it's just amazing to have that type of venue and environment. Um, and uh, so, you know, as we've built the – it wasn't that way, you know. Used to, when I was at Clemson, you, 
it was kind of a stepping stone job when I came in as an assistant. Like, guys would be gone, and, and that was one of the things I wanted to change. I wanted to make it a destination job, and that's what it's become. And uh, so uh, we love each other. We, we have great relationships. It's a very much a relationship-driven program. Uh, and then, you know, most everybody on our staff either played for me or I have some type of relationship with them. You know, uh, Brent was kind of the oddball of the group. He's the one guy that I really had no relationship with. And now he's been with me for, I guess, eight years or something like that. Uh, but Mickey Kahn was a teammate. Lemansky Hall was my teammate. Uh, Todd Bates was a, 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 from Alabama and a guy that it, it recruited and a guy that had, had been in work in my camp for years, coaching at Jacksonville State. Uh, Brandon Streeter was a GA for me, played at Clemson. Jeff Scott, GA for me, played at Clemson. Tony Elliott was a captain for me, res played receiver for me. Uh, and, uh, you know, Robbie Caldwell, I've known for ever, you know, all my years, from recruiting at Alabama, recruiting at Clemson. I used, you know, coming across him in the recruiting trail, I always respected Robbie Caldwell and had gotten to know him over the years. Uh, uh, Woody McCorvey, he was my coach. Uh, so Mike Reed, same thing, a guy when I was recruiting, uh, we had the same area in Jacksonville, Florida. He was at NC State. I was at Clemson. And, I, and I, he's, you know, as was one of those guys, you know what, when I, if I ever get to be a head coach and I, I get a chance to hire that guy, I'm hiring that guy. Uh, and so, but I had a relationship in place with him already. And so my staff is, is just, it's just built on that. Um, even, our, even our peripheral staff and our support staff. I think we've got 19 former players on our staff, whether it be, yeah. And so, uh, so it's, it's just a special place, and um, we're thankful for it. Yeah, he was a freshman, and uh, you know we didn't we didn't play very well as a team. Um, had a, had a couple of plays that really turned the game against us, um, and uh, two big picks by them, and and really just you know kind of over after that. But uh, you know it was a good experience for him as a freshman, and then uh, to come back last year, and he had an amazing year, uh, and to lead us to a you know uh, be one of the key guys into a 15 and 0 run and. You know, beating an unbelievable Alabama team, the same team, an unbelievable, maybe a better team, probably a better team, a 14-0 Alabama team in the national championship uh, with an incredible offense and defense. Uh, and Travis was awesome, you know. Uh, so I think he grew a lot last year, and then he's just taking it to another level this year from really more, more than anything, just physically where he is from a, just a maturity with his body. He's just bigger, stronger. He's incredibly fast and explosive, but his understanding of the game, his knowledge of the game, his details, uh, he, the game has really slowed down for him. And uh, so, been really proud of him. 